Hey there, Falcon fans. This is Stickster. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the multi in Falcon and how to make use of it in some interesting ways. Now, the multi is the layer above most of the sounds that we create from scratch. If you're a sound designer, a lot of times you're going to be doing things in layers and then adding them together into a program. And that program is loaded into a part. Now, you can have more than one part in Falcon and those parts together form a multi. And if you've seen my other video on Falcon architecture, you can kind of understand how ridiculously infinite the possibilities are when you start considering multis. And they have a lot of uses. Of course, uh, one thing you can do is if you've built a preset and you want to combine it with another preset, multis make a great way to do that. You can layer sounds that you've built. You can layer presets, layer soundware, just like any other uh, flagship synthesizer. Uh, this makes Falcon really adaptable. They're also really good for live performance because of the way that they can route both MIDI and sound. Right now, I've got an example of a part that is on the screen right now. This is just simply one uh, Falcon instrument. And so it's just kind of a plucky little sound. And this is just one part. Now we're looking in the tree here, and you'll see right here that we're looking at part three. Uh, if I want to see all of the things that are loaded into this multi, I'll go over here to the parts list, you'll see uh, that I've got numerous parts loaded. And this is a pretty sizable multi. Now what I'm doing here is I'm layering three kind of plucky sounds. Right now you're just hearing one of them, and that's because this first part is soloed. And what you can also see is that uh, it's taking input on MIDI channel three. So I can select here and choose any channel I want. Right now I'm using MIDI channel three for that. And what I've done is I've also added these other plucky sounds. And this one here. And so when I put those together, And if you compare this to the original, you can see how different they are, right? Really adds some body. Okay, great. So not there's not much magic to that. Everybody can layer presets, no big deal. What you'll also notice is that I've got MIDI channels on these different parts that are selected individually for each of them. So for example, I've got a drum kit that's on channel 10. I've got a, uh, an 808 bass that's on two. Uh, the plucks that we just looked at are on channel three. And then I've also got this uh, additional uh, sort of pad sound on channel four. And finally, uh, there's a lead here on channel five. So these MIDI channels I'm using uh, in Falcon uh, to be driven from an Arturia Keystep Pro that I have here. And this is all syncing to host. If you look up here, uh, at the at the way Falcon's tempo is being controlled, it's syncing to host. And so I have the Keystep Pro set to use its internal clock for input. And there, uh, therefore, it can drive the uh, tempo and the sync uh, for Falcon and for other synthesizers that way. So I'm going to play you this kind of janky little four-track techno tune that I put into the Keystep Pro. So let me go unsolo these tracks here and I'll play you what I've got here on the Keystep Pro. All right, and so easily I could be using this in a live setting and controlling things with the Keystep Pro, putting different parts in and out, So just controlling that with the Keystep Pro so that you get a different kind of arrangement, uh, just like you would do in a live performance. Um, but the sound is a little weak, and this is where the mixer comes in. The mixer is uh, something that I really wanted to show off in this video. It is uh, one of the coolest things that you can do uh, with a multi. Um, I'm going to go up here and choose mixer, and now we're looking at the mixer view in Falcon. And what you'll see here is at the bottom, we've got our different parts lined up like tracks, looking pretty much like you would expect in a DAW. 
Before I go further in explaining the mixer, this channel is, it's kind of an itty bitty channel. Uh, I like putting these things out because it helps other people learn. That's something that I get a lot of enjoyment out of. And I really like Falcon, and I think that uh, a lot of people should check it out and use it, so I like advertising for it. You'll probably hear this on a lot of the channels that you go to. Well, Google Analytics gives us this information, and it shows us how many people who visit are subscribers, and the fact is, not many of you are. And I love doing these videos, and if you subscribe to these videos, you'll see when I get new ones out, I try to share the things that I learned about in Falcon so that you can pick up any tips or tricks for your use as a musician. And it really helps me if you subscribe and if you like the videos. So let's get back to the multi and the mixer. So I've been surprised at how many people don't really ever visit or use the mixer. And it's great for performance stuff like this. So you can mix the parts like they were tracks in a DAW, but without all the overhead, you're really just doing it all in Falcon. Let's, let's start with these drums. Let's see about maybe getting these to sound a little better. I'm going to solo out that part. What you're going to notice is by using these uh, solo, mute, uh, pan, and level controls, you are actually controlling the exact same controls that you see in the parts view uh, of the main window in Falcon. So it's really just another way of looking at the same things. So again, let's, uh, let's see what we can do to get these drums sounding better. I'm going to I'm going to kick these off dry. All right, so that doesn't sound bad. A little weak. And what we're going to do is uh I I've brought in an Opal here, which is a uh it's a a uh a model of the LA2A compressor, a uh, very famous uh, optical compressor that's out there. And I'm going to turn this on first. So immediately it gains a little body and things start to sound more like drums right off the bat. Another thing we can do is add a studio limiter. Uh, this is just going to kind of make the whole patch sit together better. So right now the snare is not as pokey as it was. And we're going to add this limiter to pull things together and glue them in. All right, it did get a little bit louder, uh, so what part of what you're hearing is definitely due to that. But it definitely sounds more full-bodied at this point. Okay, so that's something that we can do right away, is we've used these effects uh, slots that are in the multi for each part, and we are using that to pull... Uh, the, the parts together in a way that's pleasing like we would in a DAW. Uh, what you're also going to notice is over here on the right, we've got four auxins. And these auxes allow you, just like a DAW, they're just what they sound like, they're aux, auxiliary buses. And out of these four auxes, you can send any amount of the sound from any of your parts into those auxes as well. So you'll see here we've got uh, four different aux sends, for each part, one, two, three, and four. In each of those auxes, we can layer however many effects that we want and then decide to run pieces of those uh, parts through the aux buses. It's like a, taking a copy of your track and sending it through those effects and then into the main mixer. You're also going to notice that uh, Falcon has this very cool little control, the pre-post control. Now, right now, it's set for post, which means the fader is going to control how much of your sound also is going off to that uh, aux bus. If you set it to pre, then this control, this fader control here uh, is, uh, uh, is no longer, uh, the fader control is no longer controlling uh, what's sent, and the effects buses will also not be included. So it's like sending a copy of your sound before it routes through these effects and the fader. Right. By default, it's set to post, which means your sound gets processed through these different effects and then a volume is set. And then however much of that that you want will go into the aux bus. Now, I'm using two auxes here. If you look over here, I've got a tape echo on one. So kind of a delay and I've got a reverb on another. Now, there's nothing really happening with these, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and start up these drums. You can hear what I'm doing with the uh, reverb first. 
This is just going to add a little bit of room sound. All right, yeah, there you go. Just uh, kind of gives it a little bit of warmth and a little bit of uh, ambiance. Okay, so with that, I'm also going to show you what I'm doing with these plucks. So let's solo these. Cool. Okay, so what we're doing here is uh, I'm routing some of those into the reverb as well, but we also have this tape echo delay. There we go. Now we got a little bit of echo in there, just adds, uh, adds some spice. And I'm doing this with each of the other parts as well. So let me take these off solo so that you can hear what's happening. All right. And you'll notice I also have EQs here as well. These EQs are just sculpting uh, the tape echo and the reverb so that I get the sound that I want out of those effects. Okay, very cool. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show you is the master bus. And with this master bus, I'm using an effect rack. Now I'm going to drill into the effect rack here by going back to the main view and going to effects and under master. I'm going to show you what my chain looks like here. I've got a feedback compressor, and this is something I'm using for glue. Uh, the multiband here, which is uh, basically acting as sort of like OTT, if you're familiar with that plugin, uh, so that it just kind of livens up the sound a bit. And you'll notice I'm only mixing in about 20% of that right now. Um, then finally, I've got a maximizer here, and this just basically jacks up the volume uh, to give us uh, something pleasant. So I'm going to turn these off, and you can hear what I'm doing in order. I'm going to turn the effects unit on and start up the track, and I'll walk you through what happens here. Okay, it doesn't sound bad, but it doesn't sound very warm. It doesn't have that like glued-together quality. So we're going to add this feedback compressor first, which is just compressing lightly up near the top of the threshold, so only when it gets pretty loud. And this will just bring things together a bit. Notice how the parts seem to glue together better. All right, now we're going to add some energy and some life with this multiband compressor. to get louder, but also you can hear those lows kind of, especially if you're listening through good headphones or monitors, you're going to hear those kind of like, they have body, they, they kind of make you want to move now. All right. And let's check out right here, we're going to use our maximizer. Okay, and that definitely brings the volume up. Now that sounds like a decent track now. So you could be using this live. It's one of the amazing things about Falcon. Okay, so with all that in mind, what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to turn on this gain reduction. And this basically is trying to level back the gain uh, uh, versus what things sound like without all of this processing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the track. I'm going to turn this effects unit off, and then we're going to kick it in. And the volume will probably not change as much, but you're going to hear a difference in the quality of the sound this way. So this is without. Definitely a different quality. I'm going to turn it off and on again. Cool. So now you've seen a little bit of what you can do using Falcon, using the multi-level uh, of, its, of its architecture, 
and also what you can do uh, with some clever uses of effects. And keep in mind that you don't have to uh, be limited by just single effects that you pull in here. As I've done in this uh, particular case with the master bus, you can use an effect rack to increase the flexibility. Of course, you can keep effect racks within effect racks, so there's basically no limit to what you can accomplish. And this makes a really good companion if you're going to do some live performances. You can have multis already saved for Falcon for your different songs, and then you could arrange them and work them live. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video and seeing a little bit about the multi and about the mixer and about how you can put it to use in your setup. I hope you have a lot of fun with Falcon, and I'll see you next time.